This is the guts of an Ego Standard Charger model CH2100. Um, this is the charger for my new battery powered chainsaw that knock on what I'll be doing some evaluation videos of in the coming weeks. Ideally this weekend just because there aren't that many videos on them. But anyways I uh, figured just have a look at the inside of the the insides of the charger is that which is the shutoff relay for the um, battery probably for monitoring purposes I saw that the uh, output stage of the uh, switching supply doesn't interfere with the, with the measurements there's also two lines, uh, one marked T on the battery and one marked D, actually if I can get the battery over here uh, yeah, there's a uh, of course, a hot and neutral for the uh, DC, but there's also a uh, T, which is obviously that's just gets, that's just pfft, that's just going to be the temperature sensor. But there's also this line marked D for data, which is I'm guessing some kind of uh, well, that's that's going to be some kind of communication between the battery um, controller and either the charger or whatever else is or, or whatever or whatever tool it's being used in. So it'd be interesting to. Uh, Put a scope on that. I'm guessing it's either probably going to be some other, some kind of other single wire self-clocking serial, or it might even be just a logic level line just to tell the battery saying, "Hey, I'm in use." Um, okay, that's okay. Yeah, can't interfere with something. But anyways, um, so yeah, internal construction looks reasonable. Um, certainly very aggressive means input filtering to uh, common mode chokes, two caps. So it's a uh, LCLC LC filter. There's obviously a provision for a second uh, common mode choke, which was not uh, fitted. There's a um, metal oxide varistor there. A PTC for. Um, or no, that's an NTC for inverse current limiting. Yep, wouldn't be a PTC for obvious reasons. And a mains input fuse um, or Y caps. Um, input caps. Those are uh, Samson. Uh, as are the uh, output ripple suppression capacitors and the uh, those ones are uh, Chong brand so you're not the greatest in long term those will probably get replaced although this thing has two fans in it so uh, there's this one which is for circulation around these two uh, heat sinks one for that guy down there which is the main switching device for the input and that guy which the end Hmm. I'm thinking that's probably the output rectifier. That is that device. What's, what are you? Oh, LM317. Yeah. That's probably the uh, power supply for the. Um, that's probably the regulator for the microcontroller on the other side, then. It's obviously LM317s don't work at, you know, 60 volts. Um, yes, I know this is. Uh, 56 volt nominal, but uh, fully charged, the cell potential would be up around 58 volts. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing kicked out about maybe 60 to account for uh, iron losses. It'll be, it'd be close to that. Uh, any, at any rate, those are uh, 60, uh, no, no, those are 100 volt uh, lytics. And uh, what else? Um, not much more on the other side of this. There is this fan um, for cooling the battery there's actually um, air vents in the uh, top of the battery or no, on the underside as well as on the uh, top and air is actually drawn through in through these down around the cell pack and out the bottom uh, from what I can tell the cell arrangement there's a uh, three stacks of two cells there there and there um, and then cell there, cell there, cell there, cell there. So it's obviously 14 cells. Not surprising given 4 volt annual cell potential. And those are 56 volt battery. But anyways. Um, and on the underside of the board. Um, it's also connectorized. Which is really good as far as. Getting at the guts of the thing. Um, just random passives. Uh, switching devices. That a 50 milliohm resistor. Which is probably. Going to be a current sensing shunt. Because I don't really see any other purpose for it. Can't think of any at any rate. There's that um, SOA package device, which is going to be the um, 
uh, that's going to be the uh, input switcher controller and uh, those two devices. That one's because there's a mark. I can't read any of these because of the fairly thick conformal code on the thing, but that mark on the device means that that's obviously going to be a microcontroller of some sort because it wouldn't be something like uh, some kind of programmable memory like a you know fuse ROM um, or some other kind of OT prom, E squared prom, flash, etc. Um, and that guy is going to be uh, a um, probably a um, operational amplifier for input buffering or just signal buffering and control in general or any other uh, SOT23 number of SOT23 transistors random other passives and uh, that's pretty much it it looks to be fairly well made although the um, second tier caps don't I mean, on the one hand, you know, reliability long term, but um, that's something that will probably get replaced with the high quality caps at some point. And uh, although, given the airflow, they should last, you know, a reasonable amount of time. And uh, hybrid PCB material looks like, uh, or it's um, paper phenolic core. With uh, fiberglass outers, so yeah, fairly typical in um, consumer electronics of this type. And of course, a number of isolation slots, slots, which is good to see because the charging terminals on the thing are completely exposed. Um, so that's obviously another reason for that isolation, really, because otherwise, you know, 60 volts is, or 56 volts, 58 volts, whatever, is in the realm of poses a risk of electrocution. You see, they're also marked on the um, thing as well. Um, so T is green. Um, other thing, just as far as a bit of pokery, seeing what the uh, stuff is like. Um, see, the green would be that one, which goes to a uh, resistor divider chain and a zener diode. What's other zener? Or by the way, it doesn't. That's the data. So that's obviously going to be some kind of a some kind of a input protection for the microcontroller. So my experiment with uh, I'm just putting a scope on that and seeing what the how, what this thing comes protocols look like at some point. But uh, right now and again, risk of electrocution, mains equipment, blah blah blah. You could die. Usual safety gif.